Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to Amasafti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to migrate a syswall replication from FRS to DFS replication. Domain controllers use a special shared folder named syswall to replicate sign in scripts and group policy object files to other domain controllers. All the domain controllers in domain will replicate the content of syswall folder to each other. File replication service came into picture with Windows Server 2000. Microsoft was using FRS to replicate the syswall between Active Directory domain controllers. Later on with Windows Server 2008, Microsoft introduced distributed file system replication that was able to replicate a syswall. As we expect, DFS is more efficient than FRS. To use DFS replication to replicate the syswall folder, you have to raise domain functional level to Windows Server 2008 if supported. Windows Server 2008 uses FRS for domains that run older domain functional labels. Windows Server 2008 and later uses the newer distributed file system replication service for syswall replication only for domains that use the Windows Server 2008 domain functional label. Maybe you have already performed the Active Directory migration from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2008 in the past. However, migrating Active Directory to Windows Server 2008 or 2008 R2 will not migrate a syswall replication from FRS to DFS. So, it is possible that environments which got migrated from legacy 2003 domain controllers are still using the FRS for syswall replication. However, when an upgrade is in place for your domain controllers, one thing you need to consider is raising your forest and domain functional levels. For an example, a Windows Server 2008 R2 DC with a Windows Server 2003 forest and domain functional level may still be using FRS as the default syswall replication method. In this environment, if you are to upgrade your domain controllers to Windows Server 2016 or later version, you will come into issues with FRS. Windows Server 2016 and later can no longer be added as an Active Directory domain controller to an existing domain that is still using file replication service for replication of the syswall shared folder. So in that case, we need to migrate syswall replication from FRS to DFSR. Let's understand the lab setup which we are going to use in this video. We have single domain Active Directory Forest named msftwebcast.com. We have two domain controllers in our Active Directory domain. Both domain controllers are running on Windows Server 2008 R2. It's better to start the migration process knowing that our domain environment is running in a healthy state. Already, I have checked the replication between both domain controllers and it was successful. You can also use dcdig to check the Active Directory health. You can run the command rapadmin slash rappel summary to see the replication status. From the output, we can confirm that the Active Directory replication between both domain controllers was successful. You should have domain controllers running Windows Server 2008 or above only. Any domain controller running Windows Server 2003 will not be able to perform the task as you won't be able to raise the functional levels to 2008 or above. You should be running Windows Server 2008 or above domain and forest functional levels to migrate syswall replication to DFS replication. If you don't, it's time to raise the domain and forest functional levels. Log into domain controller as domain admin or enterprise admin. First of all, let's check the domain and forest functional labels. Already, I have opened Active Directory users and computer snap-in. You can run command dsa.msc 
to open Active Directory Users and Computer Snap In. Right click on Domain Name and select Properties. We can confirm that the domain and forest functional labels currently operate at Windows Server 2008 R2. Next thing we want to do is to check what sysfull replication is used in our current environment. To do this, open the command prompt using administrator and type command dfsrmig slash get global state and press enter key. Output explains dfsr is not initiated migration yet. This means we are currently using frs for sysvol replication in our active directory domain. There are four stable states going along with the four migration phases. State 0 start, state 1 prepared, state 2 redirected and state 3 eliminated. Let's start the sysvol migration from frs to dfsr. Let me clear the screen once. Type command nat share and press enter key. Here we can see the NAND logon and sysvol share folder and its current local location. It is important to have an up-to-date copy of sysvol before beginning the migration process to avoid any conflicts. Make sure that all domain controllers have state started. We can check the state with dfsrmig get migration state. Type command dfsrmig slash get migration state and press enter key. Just check the output, it is saying that DFSR migration has not yet initiated. To start migration, please set global state desired value. Our first task is to migrate the DFSR state to prepared. Let me clear the screen once and let's type command dfsrmig slash set global state. Then we have to specify the state number which is going to be 1 in our case. So our whole command is going to be dfsrmig slash set global state 1. Press enter key. We can see the current dfsr global state is start and new dfsr global state will be prepared. In this state, frs continues replicating the syswall folder while dfsr will replicate a copy of syswall folder but this new syswall folder will not respond to any other domain controller service request. In the output, we can also confirm the same thing. DFSR service will copy the content of syswall to syswall DFSR folder. To check that, open file explorer, navigate to C and windows folder. Here, try to locate the syswall folder. Currently, as we can see, we have only one syswall folder. Once a domain controller will be in prepared state, then here we can see the new folder with the name syswall dfsr. Be very patient as it might take some time to replicate changes, particularly if you have domain controllers on remote offices. In this state, the initiated domain controller will start the migration task for the given state and will inform the rest of the domain controllers. Therefore, this will take time and depending on our link, the time to complete on each domain controller may vary. To check the current state, we can use the command dfsrmig get migration state. Let's go back to the command prompt and let's run the command dfsrmig get migration state and press enter key. As we can see, the state is still start in two of our domain controllers. We can speed up the process by manually invoking replication on each domain controllers or we can wait for 5 to 15 minutes and run the command again to view the status of the migration process. Let me invoke the manual replication here. Rap admin slash sync all slash adep. This command will manually initiate replication between both domain controllers. Let's press enter key. Okay, the application was successful. Let's again run the command dfsrmig get migration state. Let's press enter key. Okay, now we have only one DC in a start state. I think something changed in the background in file explorer. So let's go there. 
And now we can see we have a new folder with the name syswall DFS R. Once the migration is completed, we will receive the message all domain controllers have migrated successfully to global state prepaid. And that is our case. We can now move to the next step. For the second step, we need to type command dfsrmig slash set global state to 2 and press enter key. In this state, the dfsr copy of syswall starts to respond to syswall service request. FRS will continue the replication of its own syswall copy but will not involve with production syswall replication which is running with syswall dfsr folder. Type command dfsrmig slash get migration state and press enter key to see the current status. Check all domain controllers have reached to redirected state or not. As we can see, the state is still prepared in our both domain controllers. Again, we can speed up the process by manually invoking replication on domain controllers or we can wait for 5 to 15 minutes and run the command again to view the status of the migration process. Let's manually initiate the replication between domain controllers. We can confirm that the replication was successful. Let's run the command dfsrmig slash get migration state. Uh, both domain controllers are still in prepared state. So we have to wait a little longer. Okay, we can see the output of dfsrmig get migration state command that all domain controllers have migrated successfully to global state redirected. Now we can move to the next state. Type command dfsrmig slash set global state to 3. Press enter key. In this state, DFS replication will continue its replication and services syswall request. But Windows will delete original syswall folder used by file replication service and start the file replication service on your server. Type command dfsrmig slash get migration state and press enter key. We have to confirm all domain controllers have reached to eliminated state. In our case, as we can see, the state is still redirected in our both domain controllers. Again, we can speed up the process by manually invoking replication to each domain controllers or we can wait for 5 to 15 minutes to run the command again to view the status of the migration process. Let's manually invoke the replication. Now let's again run the command dfsrmig slash get migration state. Still above domain controllers in redirected state. So let's wait for a few seconds and again we will run the command later on. We can see the output of the command dfsrmig slash get migration state and we can see the message that all domain controllers have migrated successfully to global state eliminated. With this, we conclude the migration of the syswall folder from FRS to DFS replication. Type command NAT share and press enter key. Check the current local path of NAT logon and syswall shared folder. Now it is changed from only syswall folder to syswall DFS R. Open run menu. Type services.msc and press enter key to open services management console. We have to make sure that file replication service on this domain controller is stopped and disabled. That you can see the status is stopped and startup type is disabled. We can check the same on our other domain controller as well. Let's go to our second DC. Let's open services.msc. Let's check the status of file replication service. Startup type is disabled. That means service is already stopped. Okay, let's run command net share. We can see the path is totally changed from syswall to DFSR. And let's open C Windows folder and look for the folder with the only name syswall. We can see we don't have that folder. We have only folder with the name syswall dfs r. So after seeing this, we can confirm that we have successfully migrated syswall replication from file replication service 
to DFS our replication. That's all for this video on how to migrate SysVault replication from FRS to DFS R. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.